Good afternoon everyone, this is uh, Karen from Karen B's Alchemy Acrylic Art. Today I'm just going to do a fairly short video. Um, obviously, as you probably all know, you can actually pour, or liquid pour, on uh, anything really, uh, different objects that you have in a house if you like. And um, my favorite is just to do, um, you know, covers for iPads or or um, in this case here, I'm just going to do a very quick tutorial on how to do the uh, the cell phone cases. My daughter was asking me for a cell phone case. She thought it would be cool to have one poured, so she bought this uh, cell phone case cover. I think she paid like four or five dollars for it. And I'm just going to go through the process of how you can actually uh, go ahead and do that. Put a nice pour over it. <clears throat> Makes it uh, very unique compared to everything else out there. You can actually uh, choose the colors that you want as well, which is really neat. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to protect the inside of your phone case. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and put some um, some painter's tape throughout the whole inside here. And I'm actually creating a little bit of a ledge on the edge here, as you can see. Just a little one. And I'm covering the holes, of course, for the, uh, you know, your, your camera, your camera hole and your, you know, to turn your phone on and everything and your plugins on the bottom here, you're going to want to protect those as well. And the last step for this is to actually put, a, do a resin pour over it to protect your, uh, your pour once it's done. So that's another reason why I want a ledge so that the uh, resin can pour over. Let's make sure that it's completely covered. So you're just kind of shoving it in there with your fingers making sure it's nice and snug in there. You can probably use any tape as well. It doesn't necessarily have to be this kind of tape but I really like painter's tape. It comes off really easily and tears off easily. Easy to apply. Okay, so that's the edges. So you got your, your edges covered here. And you're going to do the inside. Not a big deal, of course, if you you know end up getting some paint in here. It's not a not a huge deal. I mean, your phone will be hiding it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so well that's about right. So as you can see, it's uh, pretty much all, all covered here on the inside. So that leaves you with the outside. Okay, so for this, because it's such a tiny little pour, I'm just going to use uh, one of these little, cute little solo cups. They're like two inch, two, two ounce solo cups that you can get at dollar stores or different, different areas. Different stores have them, like party stores specifically carry these. And my daughter asked me for a black and white pour, so I'm just going to, this is just leftover black paint that I have that I'm going to use for that. And I always keep uh, white paint available at all times. And this has actually, this is actually house paint. And I have um, also made sure that, you know, there's no clumps or anything in here by straining it ahead of time. I always strain my house paint, so it should be nice and smooth. It's a little thick, so I'm probably going to need some water on that today. <coughs> I 
actually I'm going to use some pouring medium instead. Just this regular Demco acrylic pouring medium that I usually get at my art store. prepare some paint ahead of time here. This is a little bit too thick to use so and you don't need more than two ounces for sure of paint for this project so just have about two ounces in there. Add a little bit of pouring medium here. Actually, we'll add a little bit of water as well. <coughs> Just a couple of squirts of water is good. Okay, that's great. Okay, and my black should be fine because it's actually left over from, from other pores, so that's ready as well. Okay. And just take your little mini solo cup here. I'm going to start with the white. I'm actually going to throw a little bit of silicone in here as well because I think uh, having some cells in there would be kind of cool. You know, you see a lot of artsy um, phone cases, but I haven't seen one with cells or anything just yet, so this will be cool. I'm not completely filling the little Dixie cup here. No, not necessary, I don't think. Just going to give that a couple of little stirs, just add a little bit of interest here. Okay. Okay, so then you're just going to want to pour directly onto your cell phone case. Okay, so you can literally just pick it up and move the paint around. You just want to make sure that you're getting all the edges. Okay, almost looks like I've got everything here covered. You want to kind of go into your hole so that you can get the edges here. Okay, that's actually kind of cute. Just going to put it over here so that it can dry. Heat that up just a little bit as well, see if we can get some more cells to pop up. <clears throat> Put this in. Alright. Okay, I'm just going to kind of uh, lift that up a little bit, 
get a closer look. Kind of neat, neat look. Oh. Now my daughter really likes uh, shiny stuff, so I think I'm actually going to add some some sparkle to that little. <clears throat> so this is extra fine glitter. Uh, the company that makes it is called, uh, well, it's Reflections. And it's, uh, I think they actually sell this in the stamping department. So, and it's really neat because it has a lid where you can have like, like a salt, salt shaker style, salt shaker style dispenser or if you wanted to actually you know dispense fully like with a teaspoon or something you could do it that way so I'm just gonna add a little bit of this shiny stuff to the to the case okay so that's pretty interesting I added uh, I don't know if you, can, you probably can't see there very well, but there is some, some shiny little sparklies in there. Probably show a lot more when it's dry and once I have the resin on as well. So that's basically it. You're going to give that a couple of days to dry. And uh, of course the next step will be to apply some resin and we'll go through that step in a couple of days as well. So as I said, you can cover just about any object. Um, yeah, just a matter of experimenting with it, and of course most objects would probably have to be covered with resin for protection, but yeah, so that's uh, pretty cool. So thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, have a great day. Hello everyone, this is uh, Karen B. from Karen B's Alchemy Acrylic Art. I'm actually just uh, adding this uh, second part to the video. Um, for the, uh, the phone case. So I'm basically just going to go through today uh, how to resin um, your, um, your telephone case or any other object that you would like to, to pour on that you have at home. I'm just going to use a very tiny little Dixie cup here and I have my resin. So this is the resin that I'm going to use today. It's uh, called EnviroTech Light. So I'm actually just going to use a tablespoon of each, the resin and the hardener. Just going to use a popsicle stick to scrape it out here. Okay, cap back on. And here we have the uh, the hardener, same brand, EnviroTech Light. Again, I'm going to use a tablespoon, and I could have probably used a little less, but I just wanted to make sure that I had enough for this demo. So you put your hardener in here. So again, it's 50% of each, the resin and the hardener. And that's really uh, the measurement for any, any resin work that you're going to do. You always have to have 50% of the resin to 50% of the hardener for it to take. I'm just going to stir that around quite a bit to make sure that it's properly mixed. That should be fine. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour a little bit on here. And then I'm actually going to use, uh, I like to use these foam brushes. They're really, really inexpensive and it's uh, it does a very, very good job. So you're just going to spread the resin around. And it doesn't need to be too, too thick. I might have put a little bit too much on here, but it doesn't really matter. And just make sure that you get every, everything. So as you remember from the beginning here, I still have the tape in the middle here. I'm not going to remove that until it's completely dry. You just kind of even it out, make sure you get all your corners. I'm trying to just hold on to the tape here as much as I can.
Okay, that should be more than enough resin for that. And I'm just going to uh, keep it overnight to dry, just on these two little Dixie cups here. And that should actually be good enough. We'll give it a couple of days to dry, and um, then we'll just go through how to remove the tape, and you'll need to cut through, you know, the hole so that you can actually uh, put it on a cell phone so that you can still access uh, the ports for your phone. So I will um, make sure to add the other part of the video. Thanks for watching. Here we are with our third part of the video um, of the phone case. So this is the resin when it's dry on the phone case. It's still fairly pliable because I put a very small coat, very small layer, just one, one layer basically. Um, so that it's still fairly pliable. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remove the tape that you had on here. So I have a pair of scissors and just um, this exacto knife here. So I'm just going to be cutting around. I just want to cut around where your, where your tape was. and remove it without having to use the X-Acto knife just yet just to see what happens. But Okay, so you've removed your your tape. I'm actually just going to use scissors just to trim around here. looks about right. Then you're going to want to cut around your where your camera is on your phone the back here so you can see that you have your it's actually letting me push through it as well which is good. I'm just kind of trimming that a little bit. So there's your hole for your camera. That's good. And of course you've got some on the side. Just over here. So that one was fairly easy. And then you've got your charging ports over here. This end. Phones. I think that's the speaker. There we go. So there you go. So you've cut around, and that's pretty much it. So you've got a really cool uh, pour uh, phone case. And again, you can do this with other items around the house. It doesn't necessarily have to be. Uh, you know, for a cell phone, but it's uh, really neat. So there you go. It's just another idea to do with uh, with a pour. Great. Thank you for watching. <laughs>